this video we are going to see an example first of all let's have a look at the example which is example 19 the timed interval starts a specified time after a process is turned on and continues for a specified time suppose a vacuum pump is required to be on for an interval during a process where it would be on after 10 seconds the process would run for about 20 seconds and then stops let's head over to the open plc editor and construct the letter diagram for the given problem first of all i will press ctrl n and then after i will click onto the new folder then i will change the name of the folder as industrial example 19 i will select the folder then i'm going to change the language to letter diagram I will scroll this down a bit then after I'm going to add two power rails one on the left side and one on the right side Then I'm going to add some variables here. And my second variable will be stop. And my next variable, which is M0 and M1. Then my last variable is vacuum pump i will drag this up and now i will start with adding the contact here which is the start i will adjust the size and join these pins here copy and paste the contact then modify its address to the m0 i will paste another contact and modify it to negate it and the address to the stop then i'm going to keep it in series with the start And for the coil, I will address it as memory bit zero. I will adjust the size and join these pins here. Then onto my second rung. add a contact first then i'm going to add a block from the standard function blocks which will be the on timer i will increase size of the block then i'm going to add a coil with the address as memory bit first Then I'm going to join these pins to the power rail and to the block. For my last rung, 
I will use the M1 then I will add standard function blocks a block from here which is the pulse timer I will adjust the size of the block join these pins and now add a coil which will be the vacuum pump adjust the size and then join these pins then I'm going to add the variable here then I will add the another variable here Now I will start the simulation. The simulation is complete. I will click on the debug instance here. Then I'm going to drag this up. You can see on the right side that the vacuum pump is false for now and when I press the button here or force the true you can see that after 10 seconds the vacuum pump will be on and it will be on up to the preset time which is 20 seconds and then it will stop. And with this, our video ends here. Thank you for watching.